even even the mat the matriarch there, my pal, sitting back there, that's what the fella too. Uh, uh, Gran here as well. So today we've taken the ordinary things of life and made them special. We take the water of life and we've turned it into the wine of life. Marriage was given to us for a number of reasons. We believe it was given for the sake of a lifelong companionship and health and comfort you both should have of each other. And also we believe so that family life might continue and for the welfare of human society at large, which tends to be strong and happy when the marriage bond is kept and honoured. And so it's into this relationship that you, Andrew, and you, Sharon, now wish to enter. I've got to say, however, if anybody knows of any good reason why the marriage would not be legal, that they speak now or forever hold their peace. Since no one speaks against it, I'm not hanging about today. <laughs> <laughs> no one <getting> a chance. <laughs> Since no one speaks against it, well, that's good to play for us now. It is true. <laughs> Heavenly Father, for this day, a day of rejoicing, a day of celebration, a day in the aftermath of Christmas where we meet with the glow of this season, we thank you for the wonderful sights we see around us, for the beauty of creation, for the wonder of this snow-capped scene, we thank you. But most of all, we thank you for Andrew and Sharon. We thank you for uh, the relationship they have with each other. We thank you for that bond they have. But we thank you too for the families from whom they, they come. We thank you for the love and support they've had down through the years. And we thank you for this point in their life where they're happy to commit themselves to each other in marriage. They are very conscious of our presence, but at this solemn and holy moment, may they also be conscious of yours, and though they're starting their married life under your blessing. Here these are prayers. Amen. I'm going to ask you to take a very simple vow and simply to ask I the answer I do, and then I'm going to ask you to repeat the or to take these vows to each other, which are in fact your own vows. But first of all, do you, Andrew, take Sharon to be your wife? And do you, in the presence of God and before these witnesses, promise and covenant to be a loving, faithful and loyal husband to her for as long as you both shall live? I will. Sharon, do you take Andrew to be your husband? And do you, in the presence of God and before these witnesses, do you promise and covenant to be a loving, faithful and loyal wife to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. God has heard these vows and we indeed are witnesses of them. Sealed to the vows that you have taken. These rings are given and received as a sign of your commitment to each other. Make a place to the when we get them. <laughs> and you together and the wearers of them. My oh my. One of these days, a best man will have this already for me. <laughs> I get a pokey heart. <laughs> simple signs you take each other to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for death shall come. Inasmuch as you have made your covenant together, declaring it before God and your family and friends who gather here today with you, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. For God is joined, man should not separate. The Lord bless you and keep you. Andrew, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> yeah.
think at this juncture we'll ask Carol to come up and, and, and read through it. Carol, it's going to read this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's it? Oh, well. Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal, a joining with the promise of a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confident, Lover, teacher, listener, and critic. There may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent for a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly, and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the hearts of two people who love, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Thank you very much indeed, Carol. I'm going to be a little applause. <laughs> I often reflect on how things have changed in a remarkably short period of time, but I think I was reading an article today about uh, the noughties, <laughs> and I thought, I didn't name, I guess, I, I, I know there's a kind of actor or something, so Bill Naughty or something, must be him, but it wasn't. It's actually, I think, what they're going to call the, 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 the decade that we're just leaving. The, the, you know, because it's all, it's got nothing at the end, a knot at the end. So they're going to call from 2000 to 2009 the noughties. Probably you realise that, it's just I'm a bit thick and slow in the update, and I only clicked this morning. But, you, you know, the 60s had its distinguishing mark, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. They're saying that the noughties are a bit more difficult to say what's the distinguishing mark of it. But certainly as I've watched the decades slip by, far too quickly, I've realised the radical changes that have taken place. Um, and, and you can see it, you know, the advance of technology, where we be without our mobile phones, the internet, all that stuff, we now take it for granted. Um, but I'm sure some, even here older than me, have seen radical changes going back uh, even further than that. But where I see it most importantly is in relation to marriage. Now, it's funny, Stephen and I were just talking about this on the way up, and, and he said to me, um, you, do you often get young people at 18 and 19 getting married today? And I said, no, uh, we, we don't. And yet, 34 years ago when I came to the Vale, that, 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 that was the order of the day. I mean, my wife was only 19 when we got married. I was a bit more uh, older and sensible, but that's by the by. <laughs> but, you know, people don't get married, so it's, it changes. But I think even more fundamentally, there's a change. I think when my grandfather got married, he knew with absolute certainty he was going to be the boss in the relationship, right? So it was there. When my father got married, he certainly expected to be the boss in, in the relationship. <coughs> when I get married, I, I hope I might be the boss. <laughs> See the change, you know. <laughs> Expectation, hope, nature. It's all changed. But seriously, I, I think it has changed for the better. I'm joking because I, I think uh, marriage today is much more a partnership, a partnership of equals and, and um, you know, I, I, I watch my son and, and how good he is with the children and, and doing things that I could never do. It might have, you know, Steve was actually talking about his own parents on the way up and he was talking about his father and how he says his father was a passenger, you know, because mum did everything for him. And I, I didn't really want to confess it, but I'm confessing it now. I thought, James, so, so was I, I'm hopeless, useless, you know, can't open a can of beans. Um, but, but today that's all changed and it's certainly changed for the better. But there are some things that, that, that never change. And, you know, Sharon and Andrew, I, I, I said to you, this will be a memorable wedding for so many different reasons. <laughs> so first time somebody's had to come and get me. Um, but, you know, it's wonderful scene and everything else. And it is these things that make every wedding different and every wedding special. But I tell you, you know what I'm going to take away from here? And it's, it's not the wonderful 